Boy, it has been darn right cold around here lately, and a lot of people locking themselves up inside their domiciles, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Well, the temperatures may be cold, but things are heating up as far as events. Man, do we have a lot of great things going on, and one of those locations where you can always head over to have a great time is Living History Farms. You guys always have great events going on, but specifically this time of year, you might have a little cabin fever. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are some great things we can do if we head over to Living History yeah. Farms? Judy Downs, Director of Events and Sales from Living History Farms, joining us. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. So lots of stuff going on, like Jackie mentioned. We have so much going on. We kicked off our spirits and um, our cabin fever series of events with Farms Uncorked in January, but our next one is this Saturday, Spirits and Sweets at Living History Farms from three to six, and this is my favorite. We celebrate Iowa distilled products. So we have Iowa made vodka, Iowa made whiskey, Iowa made rum, all by great purveyors from Iowa all over made the state. Rum? Okay. Yeah, okay. Mississippi River Company, a Mississippi River uh, Distilling Company in Dubuque makes some great rum. I didn't oh, realize that. So please tell us more about why this is your favorite event. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite event because last year, my first year at Living History Farms, I was expecting, so I can actually enjoy it yeah. this year. Oh, now we know the Good rest of it. Right. And Iowa, Iowa distilled products are excellent, and these distilleries have been really increasing in number for the past few years. You know, a lot of people celebrate Iowa beer, and we like to do that too, but these distilled products are really top of the line, and there's a lot of unknown or little known um, companies that we yeah, like to highlight. Yeah, we've heard of the, the whiskey, we've heard of the vodka, and now we've heard of the rum, so that's uh, the trifecta. Absolutely, and then, you know, two weeks later on March 5th, that's when we celebrate Iowa beer, so beer and bread is our our event. We sell 300 tickets for that, but it's going quickly. Okay. And that one, you know, celebrates all these great breweries that are popping up. And we've got a few new ones. Fox Brewing in Valley Junction is going to join us this year. They're new. Reclaimed Rails in Bondurant. I think they yeah. just opened last yeah, week. Yeah, they did. I yeah. haven't been there yet. Yep. I'm excited wow. to, to see what they bring. Um, they're brand new, so we're happy to have them. Wonderful, and you have another one, but tickets it's sold out. Are Festival sold of Cheese out. is our the most Festival popular of event. Cheese. Central <laughs> Iowa loves cheese. Central <laughs> Iowa does love cheese. The whole Midwest, probably. So April 16th, <laughs> um, that one went quick, but we've got tickets for our other two events. They're um, selling on lhf.org, but there's still room if you get there quickly. And there's two shifts of beer and bread I see there. Well, yep, it's so beer. popular. Yeah. Uh, Mississippi River Distilling Company is run by a gentleman who was once a meteorologist in Cedar Rapids. Oh, so we know oh, what he's who doing. Is that? He left the world of weather, Ryan Burchett, okay. and uh, is now doing that. I, well, then I, I see Parkin this in your future. You should go to the and see how that works. You better be making a phone call and say, hey, well, meteorologists have to take care of each other. I know him. There yeah. you go. All I right. need to know him well, better. Living History Farms, you guys are always open and have great things going on. So if people wanted to head out there today, for example, what could they be experiencing? Today we're actually closed oh, because President's of Day. The President's Day and, and in the winter. We have limited programming in ah. the winter because of, you know, we're an 500-acre outdoor history museum. So we try, have to be a little creative to be open in the winter. Um, what we do is great events like these that we're talking about. We also have our dinner series where we do dinners in our historic homes, um, and that's keeping us busy right now. So if you go online, you can register for one of those dinners. Um, they are selling very quickly, um, but we have them through April. Okay. I think you should have a winter program for like spoiled kids and make them live in the 1850s. <laughs> <laughs> make them stay there for like a week. Like a camp. Make yeah. it call it a camp so it sounds nice. Right. We yeah. talk about that team building kind of too. You could right. bring out a corporate group and, and see if you could sleep through the night. I, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> no. No. All right. So the events that are coming up, the Cabin Fever Series, uh, we do have two that are just, uh, just ahead of us now. One coming up on Saturday, and that is your Spirits and Sweets, and there still are tickets, right? There still are tickets. Yep. What kind of go. sweets are we talking about? We talked about the spirits. What kind of sweets? We have Rogue Sweets coming in, and she always makes great paired um, delectable items that pair with the drinks. And we also feature some of the items that we sell in the marketplace, historic candies. Oh, okay. So we've got our lemon drops, and we're going to do a sarsaparilla sampling. If oh, you've really? never had our sarsaparilla, yeah. it's delicious. It's a historic recipe made by Millstream Brewing, and um, we're going to be able to sample that so, on So what, go, what goes with a good vodka? What kind of sweet goes with a good vodka? With a good vodka, a sweet, I think a good cupcake, maybe a fruity. Um, something fruity would go, would pair really well. I like that idea. Okay. Like a lemon drop would go. Oh, uh, yeah, the old-fashioned yeah. lemon drops would be perfect All with right, a good and vodka. A, but a whiskey? 
I would say chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate okay. with something dark or and, licorice. And then the final one, the, the rum. What would be? Super fruity. Something. Super fruity. Yeah, because it's strawberry made with sugar. Yeah, or, okay. yeah, something like that. Wonderful. All right. So you, so you have it all done. Right? So that's perfect. <laughs> Learn more about all the right. pairings this Saturday, but then also don't forget beer and bread coming up just a couple of weeks away as well. All right. Give us the website one more time if people want tickets. LHF.org, and we've got plenty available. All right. That's wonderful. Thank you so Thank much for coming you. in. Thanks for having me.